Obtaining clients and getting them to pay once a month is usually really difficult. Normally, we do a big project with them and then finish and get them on a small maintenance fee. But after that, we don't hear from them for months and we never really make any more recurring monthly revenue from them. We had this problem in our agency until we started implementing a few unique strategies, which all of a sudden our monthly recurring revenue went up. And in today's video, I'm going to share that with you. In fact, this is probably going to be one of my most shortest but important videos, so make sure that you watch until the end. If you guys didn't know already, I run a subscription-based agency, so retaining clients and keeping them on a monthly track is really important. If we lose a client, then our monthly MRR goes down and we scramble to find a new client. It's really stressful. So let's start off with strategy number one. So maybe this is something that's happened to you before. A client tells you about some ideas and you tell them to hold on to it because it's more work than you agreed on. They forget about the idea, you forget about the idea, and then you lose out on extra revenue and extra tasks to work on in the project. We were doing this a lot, so we changed our approach to it and started using bucket lists. By placing these ideas into a curated list that is saved, you start creating a backlog of extra work to help improve your client's project. And we're not just trying to put like shit in here to scam them into working with you for another month. We actually want to put tasks in here that are going to provide value and help them get better results. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. All right. So we're mainly just looking for quick wins here that we can put into these idea lists that make it an incentive for the client to want to work with you in the next month. As I said, this is quite fun because you're incentivizing the client to collaborate with you, building this really nice relationship between each other where you're just focusing on improving the service that you're providing for them. In my case, it was websites. But you're also increasing the likelihood that they're gonna continue their subscription with you because there's stuff to work on in the next month. So if you want to have something to use as an idea bin, the client workspace I released in the last video has an idea been in it. So feel free to go download that for free and give this a try. Now let's talk about strategy two. Recently I've been working with a marketing agency and they've been doing something great. Every month they schedule a call with their client for a meeting. In the call they provide so much free value that guys, it's, it's actually insane. A clear picture of the revenue that's been generated so far, an update on progress and how things are going overall, and they verify and do a health check on the quality of the leads that the client is receiving. All of this contributes to the client feeling well cared for and just like secure in the relationship that they've got. When the client's looked after like this, the relationship becomes really collaborative and you start to just work together on like how can we grow the business and improve this campaign or website or adverts to get better results for the client. And yeah, you just work against the common goal, which is just growing the business overall. What's that smell? The cologne? No. Opportunity. No, money. Okay. I smell money. Okay. Clients who aren't looked after, I tend to find grow distant and cold, and you start to lose interest in each other's businesses and how each other are doing, which causes you to break up, and that's why you lose them as a client, and you lose your monthly recurring revenue. So just call them up weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever sort of suits your business and just make them feel like they're looked after. Just work on growing a relationship with them. And you guys probably guessed it, if you're focusing on a healthy, value-based relationship, you're going to get given more work and earn more money. It just works like that. So go book your first call with your client today and start doing health checks with them. Finally, let's talk about strategy number three. We interrupt this video for a short word from our sponsor, Coda. Coda is an all-in-one doc that brings words, data, and your teams together. It comes with building blocks like tables that talk to each other and buttons that take action. So anyone can make a doc as powerful as an app. Coda is free to get started and you can also get access to their new AI features completely free of charge, unlike some other tools. <laughs> in my agency client satisfaction is really important because if they start to feel like they're not being looked after then they're going to look for other freelancers and agencies to service them losing us money so start making a weekly report where i tell clients how many tasks we've worked on this week 
what's been completed and anything that they need to review. I was already doing a lot though, so I started automating this, which really helped with saving time. So I created an email template that gets filled in by an automation, and now every Friday morning, a client receives a report of how things are doing, and I don't have to do anything at all. I'm jacked. I'm jacked to the test! What I found with these regular updates not only made me look professional and organized, but they helped build a momentum and sense of energy for the client. They also felt well taken care of and involved in the process, which again, like with all of these strategies, keeps me at the forefront of their mind. And we're building this collaborative team approach where we're working together rather than against each other. I strongly recommend you guys to consider automation as it's the, probably the biggest step that will allow you to grow your agency without having to commit more and more time. You might be surprised at the positive changes that you find as well. And if you'd like to watch a video on the system that I use to run my agency, you can watch this video next. That's a wrap!